the lighter in its heyday would have carried 13 tonnes of bricks from Allen's Brickworks on, on the Essex Bank and uh, Allen's made some of the finest bricks in the country. The, a lot of big London buildings are made with Allen's bricks. They would go down river, uh, then they'd be transported, transferred onto Thames lighters, sailed round to London and again unloaded. The name lighter infers that the boats would work out into the tideway and they would unload or load bigger ships, thereby making them lighter. On normal canals, they would be called barges, but this is a very primitive construction and uh, it, it goes back probably to Saxon times, that the way it's constructed. The lighters were put out of action, made unusable by a potential enemy under the Protection of the Realm Act 1917. And they were simply sunk, a hole was made in the bottom and uh, left to sit on the bottom for 60, 70 years, which for wood is a quite a good environment for preservation. If you look back on the old records, many of the horses were badly injured and drowned due to the practice of, of um, boating the horse. That's where the horse would step onto the front of the lighter. The men would pole over to the other side and the horse would step off. Uh, so it, it was not friendly to horses to, to, to think about using them to pull these lighters any longer. And uh, the, the electric motors were so much more efficient. Since it's been restored, it's been used for public outings, charters, publicity work, and to some degree, we use it as a floating classroom.